Res ah! Ah! My radar shows more humans approaching. Hurry to the saucer. Get in your flying saucer and annihilate everything in your path. Take a spin in your saucer. Get a feel for the controls and then go ahead and start shooting. Destroy all buildings. Leave no trace. Bomb those monkeys back to the Stone Age. Perfect. As good as gold. Joe McCarthy's good as gold. Oh, great. The human military industrial complex. We can't allow them to alert their leaders to our presence. Exterminate them! Now! Open fire! Crypto, I hereby give you official permission to destroy. in the bushes. Replenish your saucer shields by draining any human being. Superb! I can't take it. Wow, it hurts! The humans are making a final push! Wipe them out once and for all! see what I saw? You bet your sweet ass I did. What did you see? Little green man in a flying saucer wiping out the best infantry unit in the U.S. Army. Right. Good. Me too. Green? Not gray? Don't be a stiff. You know what it means? Absolutely. What? It means the papers got it right for once. Get on the horn to silhouette. We've got the worst case scenario. The eggheads were actually onto something? I don't believe it. Believe it. Roswell was only the beginning. The invasion is on. Now then, I know what you're thinking. What can I, a lowly novice, do to help bring about the destruction of Earth and the inevitable reign of the Furon Empire? Well, I'll tell you. It was in the earliest days of the Empire we realized our species was doomed. Eons of waging war on inferior races with unregulated atomic weaponry had mutated our genes. We could not propagate due to our complete and utter lack of genitalia. Fortunately, a Furon ship happened upon Earth on its way back from destroying the Martians. Human society was young and nubile. Sailors on a foreign planet, letting off steam, one thing led to another. Long story short, every human being alive today has buried deep in his genetic code a strand of Furon DNA. 
Over the eons, we've learned to clone ourselves. But with each iteration, the information degrades, and the results are increasingly unpredictable. The Furon genes in humanity's DNA are ancient, uncorrupted. They represent the future of the Furon race. If only we can get at them. So, I see a horde of humans up ahead, congregating at some sort of holy ground. Here's the plan. I want you to enter the fair, find a malleable human and lead it back to your ship for... questioning. Get the picture? So, that human is aware of your presence. The more people become aware of you, the more chance that those human policemen and the military will come to investigate you and take you down. Don't forget to disguise yourself, Crypto. You... Now that you're sufficiently disguised, continue using the Cortex scan to maintain the illusion. You wouldn't want to lose concentration while surrounded by enemies. Wonder what's for dinner. Oh yeah, beef. Again. I want a salad. I like that Nixon. I got a feeling he's gonna make us cops popular again. What we need is the dumbest, weakest-willed, most malleable human we can find. Admittedly, the competition will be fierce. You just have to scan them all. Man, oh man, she may be the dumbest Miss Rockwell ever. And check out them cantaloupes. <laughs> God, I love America. This human seems to be onto something. We wonders never cease. Keep scanning the humans. Maybe I should give Miles a call. What's an Elvis? Uh, must be some. I want to marry Miss Rockwell, but instead I gotta sit here hour after hour, day after day, watching this dying wheel go up and down, round and round. Yeah, 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 town's doing great, business is booming, hope is on the way, yada, yada, yada. Let's uh, barrel through this puppy so I can get down to the real bit. Um, Wayne! Finally, I was gonna flip my lid if Mama made me take one more slurp of cabbage soup. I want roast chicken. Mmm, chicken of the sea. Or was it by the sea? All right, Crypto. I have analyzed all the thoughts you've collected, and I think I've isolated the perfect subject for you to... Probe and vaporize? No. Abduct and bring back to the mothership. My way's more fun. Abduct, not vaporize. Okay, but humanity ain't gonna annihilate itself, all I'm saying. Can I finish? Can I stop you? As I was saying, the newly crowned Miss Rockwell looks like a prime candidate for testing. She's envied and desired by other humans. She's highly persuadable. Best of all, she apparently has a brain the size of a peanut. Hypnotize her and send her back to your ship for collection. Implant a command on a puny human brain. Bend its will to ours. I want to thank all the little people, but there's no time. Gotta go! What I wouldn't give for a decent pizza. Now let's see, I can make some Which way's the exit? The guys give me meat and cheese. Tomatoes from the garden. Enjoy the fair. Oh, and don't like ride the mangler. It's a freaking death trap. Must keep going. Feet killing me. Damn heels. my purse in the tent. I must go to the dark and mysterious woods. There's no reason to be afraid. Nothing bad ever happens to people who go into dark and mysterious woods. Especially not in fairy tales or slasher films. Not that I know what those are. Nope, nothing to worry about here. I don't remember parking here. Of course, I can't ever remember.
remember where I parked. My la 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 and lots of wavy hair like libera wait a minute where am i this sure doesn't look like the pie eating contest uh-oh Never fails. <laughs>